SNES Drunk. Welcome back to SNES Drunk Plays Secret of Mana, and I have everything I need from this store. There's not much there. Uh, thank you, Dad, for selling me stuff. Uh, what's Ned Flanders over here got to say? Guy is naval. Yes, it's common knowledge. I do enjoy that this is one RPG, uh, adventure-style RPG, where the villagers actually say things and give you clues and hints on what's happening, like that woman upstairs that was talking about the ruins and her grandma went senile and all that stuff. So it is worthwhile going in and talking to all these people. Hey, it's the Cannon Travel Center guy. Look at that. He's got his own his own pad. He's got the missus upstairs. Got a nice uh, wife there. Good, good for him. Good job. I guess he's into green hair. I guess it's more lime-colored hair. Anyway... <laughs> Yeah, I love the detail they put in here, all the way to uh, paths, flowers, those, um, what do you call them, mills? I don't know what exactly they're doing, and maybe they're providing electricity or something. Um, sure, we want to stay at the inn here, and um, rather than waste candy and whatever. Good night. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I always do a fist pump when I wake up. Um, we do not want to save our game. Not necessary. Oop, technical difficulty there. Anyway, uh, let's get going to Gaia's Naval, which is really a pretty long... Not long. I guess, you know, it takes a few minutes to get there. All while uh, stopping to destroy all enemies in our path. Regardless of how cute and cuddly they may look. That means you, Rabbi. Um, yeah, I'm through cutting grass for a while. I think my, my arms are tired from cutting grass with a sword. That would be very tedious, cutting grass with a sword. I have seen a guy cut a, cut grass with like a scythe. A scythe, however you, the right way to say it is. That's actually really efficient, as long as you don't care about what it looks like afterward. As long as you're just trying to knock down tall grass. A scythe is like extremely efficient. Um, it's faster than the freaking like weed whipper or, you know, clippers or whatever. You, you want a scythe, knock that shit down. I love the different sounds the enemies make when you kill them. Like, the bee makes this kind of goofy rattling noise. Like, it's got some kind of bee skeleton. Really strange. But, uh, yeah, see, it, like, crumbles to a pile of bones. Whereas the rabbites and, like, the flowers have this, like, splash sound when you kill them. It's like, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know what they were smoking when they made those decisions, but... It really works. It makes it that much more fun to kill these things. So I personally enjoy it. I don't think I'm gonna stick with the spear for with the girl for a while. Um, once I get another weapon, there's another weapon coming up in, a, in the not the next area, but the area after that I'm going to be equipping. Now what you could do, or uh, what what was supposed to happen, um, another possibility. I shouldn't say supposed to, but another possibility. Um, is if you decide if you didn't go to Pandora before coming here, and you you got here and you just went he to this part, um, if you talk to this old guy, she's already at level four. Damn, why aren't why aren't I leveling up? If you talk to this guy, oh oh wow, he like references the our next character that we'll meet. Um, that's pretty cool. But if you come here but without the girl. Um, without meeting her in Pandora, you um, he just says, a girl ran in here uh, by herself and uh, disappeared. So at this point, you go into the haunted uh, whatever. God, 20 damage. I better get out of here. She can't. She's not leveled up enough. She doesn't have a good enough equipment. This will do uh, nice for leveling, though. Ah, there we go. But yeah, and then you um, face these, like, tiger boxer guy. <coughs> Excuse me. Tiger... Guys, um, yeah, we're gonna get out of here. But um, she she gets taken like kid hostage or whatever, kidnapped. I think that happens anyway. Spoiler alert. <laughs> but um, anyway, I just wanted to show that off. There are different, a few different paths. The game's still linear, obviously, but there are different. There's different uh, paths that lead to different things that do different things. 
pretty cool. Let's just keep going, though. Let's get, get to that dwarf village and find this underground palace. I guess that's technically what we're supposed to do, right? Underground palace. Whatever. Yeah, we will be shortly uh, adding a third member to our party. And yes, this game is three-player. Um, if you have the Super Nintendo multi-tap, you can use all three um, characters at once, which is very cool. Uh, the sequel, second, I'm sorry, Seiken Ditsetsu 3. I get so much shit from people. Seiken Ditsetsu, do not Seiken Ditsetsu. Oh, sorry. Jesus Christ. Um, no, I don't. I honestly don't care. <laughs> I really, I care about getting it right, but I don't care about people nagging me about it. Um, the uh, yeah, you can. Uh, it's the same sort of thing where it's three members to a party, three-player game. A lot of fun. I think the combat in that game is even better. Let's see what we got here. Let's slam this thing into the water. Oh, it's a trap! It's a trap! And it's a punch club. Fucking a. It does damage. There's also poison needles, I think, is the other trap. Um, and I think there's an explosion, too. That might be a different game. I don't remember. And we're almost there. Um, just gotta actually kill this thing. There we go. Yep, we want to go in the cave to the left. And the cave to the right is just Nico hawking her like, over-expensive bullshit. Ugh, keep missing. There we go. Let's get in here. And there is... Oh, yeah, here we go. Fuck you. I'm going to the fucking underground palace. This sword is bigger than your stupid little quest. You can do whatever you want. So, yeah, she gets the hell out. She has no interest in going here. She just wants to find her stupid little boyfriend. Well, good luck, lady. So, at th yeah, at that point, she goes running into the haunted forest. And when you go back there... Uh, that's what the guy says. You you can skip all that entirely. You don't have to meet her at Pandora, cause it, but I guess, yeah, that just happens anyway. Kind of cool. Oh, I love killing these guys. They, they're falling, they're fast asleep. They get jarred awake by, ooh, by a big, uh, yeah. Those, those slime things, though, you want to stay away from those. Those things are the biggest pain in the ass. In fact, if I ever do a list, if I ever get into doing, like, top ten lists or whatever, that's highly unlikely, but... Those slimes... Are they called slimes or blobs? I think they're called slimes. They're reproducing slimes. And they are the most annoying random enemy. Well, I guess not random enemy, but they're the most annoying... Annoying enemy... Maybe in any Super Nintendo game. Jesus Christ. They are really, really, really aggressively annoying. Because no matter how many times you kill them, they cut, they reproduce immediately. They come right back. They are relentless, and I hate that. I think I came in from there. But why was that enemy down there? I gotta go downstairs here. I get lost so easily. <laughs> it's absurd. I wasn't very good at games like Metroid or stuff like that early on. It took, takes me a while, well, a few playthroughs to really understand what the hell I'm doing. Well, this is no good. It's all full of chili. That's what it looks like. <laughs> Maybe that chili, I think, needs some Cowboy Bob's Bold Sauce. Damn it, I wish I could remember that Mystery Science Theater joke. It's one of their best host segments where Mike and the bots are promoting a, <laughs> a barbecue sauce. And it's bold! can't remember what it's called. It's got some preposterously long name. I can't remember. It's Cowboy Mike's something, something, something. Bold sauce. Anyway, we make our way up here. All fairly linear. No diverting paths or anything like that. We just need to know how to get rid of the, the chili flowing through and collecting treasures along the way. Treasures with 28 gold pieces inside. That'll buy, uh, you know, might buy... Uh, Super Mario All-Stars, maybe. Maybe get you a copy of, like, Turtles in Time. Although that's been going up in price. So let's smack this skull right here, fracture its jaw and its eye socket. Poor guy, I'm sorry. But I needed to do it to get rid of the lava. Apparently it's disappeared. 
And I'm coming up on the 10-minute mark here, so I'm going to call this an episode. Thanks for watching, and have a great rest of your day.